Because the Center for Ethics and Advocacy in Healthcare is a community organization, Sister Peggy has tried to teach us about other organizations that strive to serve the community, all the way from the local level, um, very immediate response to community issues, all the way up to the international level of building up communities. So for example, we talked to Brian Leverens, the Community Services Administrator of Nutria Township, and he explained to us some of the difficulties of using federally funded money and sort of distributing that in a way that really helps people on the community level um, by funding services or by actually devoting some of those funds to people who really need it on an individual basis. On the other hand, we also talked to Charlotte Gyllenhaal who explained to us very international efforts of building community by giving back to those communities involved in research on drugs that c colleges and universities here in the United States are doing. And when they reap the benefits of that research, they're giving back to the communities in other countries like Vietnam and Singapore where they're doing that research by really doing things like microloans and building up infrastructure in those countries to really strengthen the communities there. People need to realize that independence is, can only take you so far. You need to be dependent on people and I feel like with the cases and the people that we see, community is so, is so important, it's a foundation. What's the community's need for education when it comes to health care and prevention and personal responsibility for one's health? Where does it all go? It comes down to home. And I really think that's the educational uh, philosophy behind what has evolved here. My name is Tim Morris uh, from North Central College and I've been involved with Sister Peggy and uh, patient advocacy for a fair number of years. It's become clear to me in my experience, both professionally and personally, is that many people are having difficulty navigating the healthcare system on a number of levels. And patient advocacy has helped in the sense that I think those people in those circumstances probably got better care, uh, more time was spent with them than might have been spent otherwise. Bioethics, uh, at least as it was understood originally, had this kind of advocacy component to it. I think it was a movement. It wasn't just a, a discipline. And I think the movement part of that has, for a number of reasons, been lost. And patient advocacy may be a way to recharge its battery. What I think I've learned most from my experience here at the center is really the primacy of the relationships um, in healthcare. I mean, in philosophy school, we talk a lot about principles like beneficence and respect for persons. But my experience here has really showed me that those sort of take a back seat to the relationships that patients form with other people. For example, we met Carolyn, who's had um, a relationship of several years with both Sister Peggy and the center. And I think it became clear from our conversations with her that what she really valued um, in her bond with Sister Peggy was that bond itself. I would say without a doubt, everybody's future academic pursuits follow on some aspect of this experience. One of the most valuable things that I gained out of my internship was a role model for how to live to your values. Women really want to go into medicine, they have some sort of story to bring with them. Either they've experienced uh, some kind of illness in the past and had really good caretakers take care of them, which made them want to go into medicine and be like those caretakers, or they had a family member who might have died and uh, that motivated them to want to study medicine. Well, I didn't have any of those, but I did do this internship, which had me on the same side as someone, Sister Peggy, who helped people through all those things that I've never experienced, which showed me a much more caring, compassionate side to medicine that I would otherwise have never experienced. I hope to be a physician, so I need to know what works in the system and what doesn't work. And I feel like the internship, internship has really taught me you know, go online, go search. Um, we have heated discussions about, you know, healthcare on the world um, and healthcare here at home. And it's great to have this environment 
where you can talk about that. What I really value at the center is the quality of discussions we have. They're so laid back and um, as Sister Peggy says, it's not like school, so there's no homework and um, we can, she encourages us to be very open and honest with one another. And I've found that um, in this environment that we have a lot of um, discussions that are really thought provoking and I like how I get to hear my other, the other interns uh, viewpoints on things and um, I think the power of stories is really um, emphasized here at the center. Um, for example, we had a speaker named Ed Corboy come in and talk about why he decided to become a patient advocate and we could all tell that he was really passionate about what he was doing and I think he's got us all really excited about um, joining in on the healthcare civil rights movement of 2009 and beyond. As part of the internship, Sister Peggy organized in services for us to supplement the speakers that we had. Um, and there's one particular in service that I found very helpful because um, even though I had taken ethics courses before in college, they were more theory and less um, applied um, to life situations. So what Sister Peggy taught us was more of a step-by-step -step instruction on how to make ethical decisions, and that was very helpful. I think it was E.E. E. Cummings who said, once you have the questions, you have the answers, or in other words, the question is the most important thing, and I think that that's what's happened this summer. It's the questions that have been so exciting, and I don't, it doesn't bother me if people don't leave here with answers. It's more, you have the questions to live with. 